Hi, I'm Garrick, and I'm a fishing enthusiast. And I'm Matt, a fishing merchant here at L.L. Bean. Today, we're gonna talk about what to wear fishing. But before we get started, Matt, what exactly is a merchant? Well, it's my job to introduce new products and technologies to our fishing line. That sounds like an awesome job. Sounds like you're the guy to talk to about fishing. Absolutely. I sleep in my fishing apparel. Wait, really? Let's jump right in. I love fishing all year long, no matter what the weather is doing. With the right clothing, the weather shouldn't matter to you either. Right, Matt? Right. All it takes is a little planning and preparation, and you'll be warm, dry, comfortable, and protected on every fishing trip. Great. Well, want to start with what to wear in hot temperatures? I'd love to. The great thing about today's technical fishing clothing is it's extremely versatile. I usually find myself wearing the same outfit in a variety of temps. So Matt, what's special about these fishing pants? Well, technical fishing pants are designed to be lightweight, breathable, and cool. Even in hot temperatures, they will keep you comfortable while you're on the water. They also look like they'll keep out bugs and brush, right? Exactly. If you're hiking along a stream, these will keep you protected. A long sleeve fishing shirt or hoodie protects you from the sun and breeze to keep you cool and comfortable. And if I pull up the hood? Extra sun protection for your neck and ears. A wide brim sun hat keeps the sun off your head and out of your eyes. A baseball style hat works well too. So what about my feet? A combination of breathable, quick drying, and lightweight wool blend socks with light hiking shoes will do the trick. If you dip your feet in the water, muck style rubber boots are perfect. Okay, so what else should I bring or wear if I know I'm gonna be out in the sun fishing all day? In the tropics where the sun is extreme, a buff style face covering gives you maximum protection. Sun blocking fishing gloves give you excellent dexterity because they have their fingertips cut off, but they provide protection for the back of your hand where it's tough to reach with sunscreen. No matter where you're fishing, a good pair of polarized sunglasses is a must. Add a sunglasses strap to keep them secure. I dig them. What if it's so hot, I wanna keep everything I'm wearing even lighter? Great question. I think this is gonna require an outfit change. Cool, let's do it. I really like these. Shorts and short sleeve shirts are fine, especially in really hot conditions. But keep in mind, all that exposed skin will need sunscreen. They also leave your skin vulnerable to biting insects. Well, I really dig them. They feel, you know, normal. Right? I mean, today's fishing clothing looks good enough to wear out for a casual drink or bite to eat after the fishing's done. I feel like the breathability will really come in handy when I hit the dance floor. Okay. That escalated quickly. Let's cool things off and see what you need for cold weather. Sounds good. Putting this on, I was thinking about one word, layers. You got it. Keeping warm and comfortable is all about layering. You can start with the clothes we've already talked about. The key will be adding layers under and on top. The technical layers we've already talked about are loose fitting enough so you can wear warm base layers underneath. Base layers are form fitting, lightweight tops and bottoms made from synthetic materials or wool. They don't weigh much, but they're really warm. They're incredibly warm for their weight. Plus, they're moisture wicking and breathable. I prefer wool because it's good at resisting odors. If the temperature dips below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, a lightweight fleece jacket with a wind blocking membrane is the perfect choice. So what if that's not quite warm enough? An insulated mid-layer is ideal. Finally, a wind and water blocking shell over it can be the key to staying warm and dry on some days. And you can easily unzip or remove layers depending on how hot or cold you get. Throwing on a warm wool or synthetic hat is the best way to ward off the cold. Even on a day that's not too cold, a thin synthetic Nordic skiing hat can make a big difference. Mmm, toasty. In general, standard hiking boots will work fine for fishing. Insulated rubber boots are also great at keeping your feet warm and dry. So what about socks? Heavy wool socks are a great choice in cold weather. You can also wear a thin synthetic sock or wool liner sock beneath the heavy socks. This will provide the best combination of warmth and moisture wicking to keep your feet comfortable. The great thing about this system is you can remove or put on layers to match the temperature. So no matter how much the weather changes, you will be prepared. Great, wanna talk bugs? Let's do it. All right. If you're going fly fishing, you're gonna have to deal with bugs. It's right there in the name. Right, but the bugs don't have to bug you. No Fly Zone Apparel has built-in bug repellent that keeps biting insects away. It also has UPF 50 plus sun protection that blocks 97.5% of the sun's UV rays. Wow, that's an oddly specific number. Okay, so now that we've got hot, cold, and buggy covered, what's left? 
Wet weather. When it starts raining, it's super important to keep it from soaking through to your clothes and skin. If that happens, your day of fishing is probably gonna flounder. Wow. So first off, I'm wearing the outfit for warm weather that we already talked about under all of this. So what do I have over it? These are rain pants. They're waterproof and pull on easily over your fishing pants with zippers and an adjustable waist. And over my long sleeves? A waterproof rain jacket. This one has an adjustable hood to keep rain off your face, plus adjustable hems and cuffs. And am I wrong or are these cuffs bigger than my usual jacket? Fishing specific wading jackets like this one have extra beefy cuffs. They keep your under layers dry and water from running down your arms. Oh, cool. And I assume this isn't a normal backpack? A waterproof backpack or lumbar pack is a must have on a rainy day. It'll keep all your gear, food, and spare clothes nice and dry. And when the rain stops, it's just the place to store all your gear. Okay, so we've talked about hot weather, cold weather, rainy weather, buggy weather, all the weathers. Are there any other weathers left? That covers the weather, but I've got some bonus pointers that aren't about when you're fishing, they're about where you're fishing. Should we jump in? Funny you should say that. Hey, looking good. If you're like me and love to get right in the water to fish, you'll need waders to stay dry and warm. That's it? Just add waders? Most of the time, a simple base layer worn under your fishing pants will work. The exception is cold water. That's when a nice pair of heavier fleece wading pants or insulated pants will save the day. You can wear them over your base layer, add some warm socks, and you'll stay nice and toasty. And remember to always wear a belt with your waders. It will keep your waders from filling up if you fall in. There you have it, Garrick. Everything you need to know about what to wear fishing. Thanks, Matt. Now that you know what to wear, you can hit the water with confidence and feel great out there. Tell us your go-to fishing clothing in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss our next video. For more outdoor tips and inspiration, visit the Get Outside Guide at llbean.com outside. And check out our outdoor discovery program, fly fishing trips and courses at llbeanoutdoors.com. Wanna go fishing? You don't have to ask me twice. Let's go.